YouTube friends and neighbors. I, uh, that comic book collection that I mentioned on my garage sale hunt adventure video from the weekend, uh, came through. Uh, I was at that one sale with my son and I was asking the guy, you know, do you sell comics? Your sign said comics and I had bought comics from the year before and, uh, he didn't have comics, but this other guy who just happened to be at the sale said, Hey, yeah, I have some comic books that, uh, my cousin had. Well, his cousin collected them in the late seventies, early eighties, but he also read a lot of them and his cousin basically gave them to him years ago. Now the collection I think was picked over a little bit. I believe, I think the cousin probably tried selling, you know, at least the key issues. This is usually what happens when I buy a collection like this. A lot of times the key issues are pulled out. So I get left with, you know, the in between stuff. And the reason why people do that is because when you're trying to sell a collection on eBay, it's easy to yank out that $500 comic book. But then when you have to start dealing with the one and $2 stuff, it's, uh, you know, it's a little tedious, so you kind of give up on it. So, I mean, in the past, I've had collections like this where they're a little bit picked through. Uh, the good news is some of the keys that become keys more recently, value-wise, because they've gone up a lot in the last couple years, uh, were still in the collection. So that was really cool. What I really, really, really like about this collection are these boxes. It's, I think it looks like he used old archival boxes sometime in the early 80s. I believe it's like an acid-free box. Now, the boxes aren't in the best shape, but what's really cool is these uh, stickers he put all of them. Those are definitely from the 70s because I have uh, you know unused sheets of them, and it's just cool. I love seeing a collection that has the, the history to it. You know, this guy basically used these boxes, collected his comics for years, and kept them in these boxes and they've been in these boxes you know for 40 years and now it's in my collection so uh what was cool is the guy had set them up on a table in a little warehouse that he um has his business in and he said you know look through them and make me an offer so basically i went through all the boxes and i pulled out anything that i thought was worth more than two or three dollars and i kind of added up the value and then estimated how many were left and did a quarter piece for what was left over and I end up coming up with 450 bucks for everything uh I think there's about there's eight boxes one two three four five six seven eight they're a little bit shorter than a short box so I think there are probably about 100 comics a box could be a little bit more than that so it's about 800 comics so I got 800 comics and then I also end up giving him an extra 10 bucks for helping get him to my house because he had a van and I don't drive so it'd been really hard to get these back to my house so I paid $460 for about 800 comics the bulk of them are from the late 70s early 80s so basically late bronze early copper with a little bit of of silver mixed in really really cool i'm excited for the slot uh, i guess i'm gonna try to show you everything i'm gonna try to go through as fast as i can i'm gonna try to point out any key issues that i know have a little bit of value and uh i hope we have a fun time together now none of the collection was uh bagged and boarded so um they weren't protected that wise but i say overall Everything is a very solid mid-grade, you know, fine, fine plus, even very fine. Just because they're kept in these acid-free boxes and the, the levels of yellowing, it's not too bad. So we've got Giant Size Werewolf number three. And let's just take a quick look inside so we can see the, the condition of the, You know, it's a little bit yellowed, but it's not too bad. I mean, I like seeing comics from the 70s and earlier that are in this condition. That's a very great condition for me. It's presentable. It looks nice. You know, it's worn just enough that I'm not afraid to touch it. And I like to be able to read through my comics and flip through my comics. So especially if it's a, a really expensive key issue... If you get one of those like 9.8 super minty issues, I feel like you can't even touch that because you know one little teeny mark drops the value. Captain America number 122, uh, good solid fine. I mean, there's no noticeable major creases. It's a bit yellowed, but uh, it's awesome. All right, let's see what we got. We got Captain America 102. This one's a little bit, you know, well, a lot of bit torn up on the spine so it's not in the best condition but it's a great issue and remember i paid what like 60 cents a piece so uh captain america number 101 i wish that was in a little bit better shape but still for the price i paid i am happy uh amazing spider-man 243 
There was a lot of these early 80s Amazing Spider-Mans. I'm very happy. Uh, number 244. Issue 252 was picked out of the collection. So that's why I knew they had sold off a little bit of the collection. 245. But you still have issues like this. This is a very fine. I mean, that's $10, $15 issue. So it's, you know, there's enough of like the, not the key issues, but the issues that are worth a little bit more mixed in. So I'm very happy with that. Amazing Spider-Man 247. Amazing Spider-Man number 248, uh, number 249. Also, I looked through these really quickly, so I might have missed something. Uh, Alpha Flight 2, that one's in pretty bad shape. Number 3, it looks like it, it curled a little bit. 4, 5, 6, 7. Again, I mean, these are actually looking really, a lot of these are very fine. 8, 9, 10... Uh, the Alpha Flight, so that's the thing is I offered a quarter a piece for all the non-valuable issues because there's, you know, the stuff like this isn't really worth that much. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25, 26. All right, now we got a more Amazing Spider-Man. 218, 219, 219. 220, 221, 222, 223, 225, uh, 226, 227, 230. Uh, a lot of these, again, these are fine. They're very fine. I mean, I'm happy with the condition. These weren't back and boarded, but they survived pretty good. 233, I mean, 232, 233, 234. Looks like there's two copies of that. All right, we got uh, 235, 236, 237. Uh, what's really cool about uh, a lot of this stuff is I have a lot in the later in the runs and a lot before. So this kind of fills in a good early 80s, late 70s part of my collection that I think was lacking. 239, I think that one's worth a little bit. 240, 241, 242. Oh, we got more Spideys. A lot of Spideys in this collection. Very cool. 148, 149, 150. Now, these ones are a bit more beat up. Uh, well, not, you know, th these ones are pretty good, but the next couple are kind of beat up. 151, 155. That one's really beat up. 156. Beat up again. 164, 167. Uh, these 160s and 170s aren't too bad. 176, 177, that one's a bit creased up. 178, 179, 180, 181, 190, 191, 192, 196. So I think, was it 194 is the first, uh, uh, I think 194 is the first appearance of Black Cat, and that looks like it's missing. 199, 202, that's a cool Punisher cover, but it's got a chunk beat up right there. 203, 204, uh, 206. Uh, even though, you know, the bigger key issues are missing, I mean, a lot of these issues are in pretty good shape. It's still five ten dollars $10 comics. So I'm still very happy to have this collection. 207, 208, 209, 211. 212, 217. I always thought that cover is cool because it's uh, well, Hydro Man versus Sandman with you know, Spider Man in the middle. It's really cool. Now he had these little dividers dividing the issues in that box. And what you can see is the line where the acid damage coming off the comic books yellowed the page. So that's really that's what old comics will do to each other over. You know, years is any page that's exposed to the newsprint. The acid will come up and it'll stain the other comics. That's why they, you know, a lot of the yelling. That's why you need the bag and board them because it keeps them from burning each other with the acid over time. Uh, more Spider-Man, 250, 251, 253. Like I said, 252 was missing, so I'm assuming they sold that off a while ago. But that's okay, because all these other issues, again, are still worth, you know, uh, 255 still worth a few bucks. 256, 257, 
258, 259, 260, 261, 262, 267, 268. Oh, this is cool. It's a king size Amazing Spider-Man number nine in pretty good shape. Uh, um, early bronze comics like that, when I can find them in Fine, Fine Plus, very happy. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 10. Again, really good shape. It just has a little bit of a tick on the corner, but other than that, nice. Another uh, King Size Annual 12, Annual 13, Annual 17, and Annual 18. Then we got uh, Issue 125. Pretty beat up shape. But I, I have one in a high grade, so... I'm okay with that. Uh, 139, 140, 147. So much Spider-Man. I love it. It's very awesome. A lot of times the Spider-Mans are sold off first. So you, it's not even the key issues, but the entire section of the comic collection, all the Spider-Mans will be gone. Because those are some of the easier ones. That and the X-Men are probably the easiest to sell. Just happy to have a big chunk of the collection in the box. Uh, oh, this is cool. King Size Special, Avengers number two. Off the top of my head, I don't know the value of it, but it's a good, uh, like very good plus, fine minus. It's a, it's a condition I like for early bronze. Uh, Avengers Annual, I could think, number 11, number 12, number 13, Marvel Super Action, number 37. These reprint comics like that usually aren't worth that much. Unless it's a reprint of a key issue, then people pay a little bit. Uh, Marvel Triple Action number 42. The Avengers Kree Scroll War. I don't think I've ever seen these before. Number one and number two. This actually looks kind of cool. I want to read those. There we got more Avengers. There we got Avengers 242, 243. I think most of these in the 240s aren't worth, or anything above 200 usually isn't worth too much, I don't think. 244. 245. Correct me if I'm wrong though, if I'm missing a key issue. 246, 247, 248, 249. These are all in really good shape. 250, 251, 252, 253, 258, 259, 217, 219. 221, 222, 223, classic cover. I love that cover. 224, 225, 226, 227, 229, 230, 231. Uh, okay, there's some 190s. There might be some key issues in there. 197, 200, 207. 210, 212, 214, 215, 216. Uh, back to the 100s. This is, I think, where I have a greater chance of the key issues. 169, 172, 183, 194, 232, 233, 234. I always kind of like that cover. Another 234. Oh, that's uh, direct and newsstand. That's cool. Uh, I'm a crazy collector. I like getting both copies when I can. 235, 236, 237, 238 times 2, 239, 240, and 241. And I think that's the end of the first box. Uh, so far, first box. Really awesome. Lots of Spider-Man, some cool Avengers. I don't think any key issues in Avengers so far, though. All right, so the first box had some great stuff. I think there's a couple issues that are approaching like $10 to $20. Like that issue. And I think this one is only a fine. If it was a little bit better condition, I think it would be worth like 20 bucks. Classic cover. I love that cover. And it, I mean, it used to be a cheap cover, but I think after Civil War, the price jumped up. Okay, box number two. We got uh, Marvel Spectacular number eight and number nine. We got Thor 211, 256, 324, 325, 326. They have a little bit of a warp on the bottom, so it's keeping them from sitting. 
332, is equal to Dracula 1, 333, 334. Now off the top of my head, I don't think any of these are key issues. 335, 336, 341. These need to be bag and board and get the little bit of the curve on the bottom out of it. 342, 343, uh, 344, I think that's a key issue. Yeah, I think that's the first appearance of uh, Malachi. I think that's his name. Um, so it, I think that's like maybe a ten dollar comic. Now it looks like the three thirty seven is missing. So that's the was that the first appearance of Beta Ray Bill. So uh, again, like I said, I feel like some of the keys were picked out. Uh, three forty five, three forty six, but sort of the the keys that gone up in the last couple years, like the three forty four, are the ones that are still in here. Uh, 347, 348, 349, 350, 351, 352, 358, 359, and uh, annual 10, annual 11, and annual 12. So that's cool. I mean, those all the Thors are paid a quarter piece. Because I just off the top of my head, I was like, I don't think any of those. I didn't really look through them. But I just assumed the, any of the ones that were more valuable were picked. But one out of the two from the three mid-300s was there. So I'm happy about that. Then we got uh, the thing. Oops, these are also... I guess this whole box is kind of slightly warped. And so uh, I'm going to have to bag and board a lot of comics. <laughs> I got my job cut out for me for the next couple days. Thing number three. Number four, uh, number four, two copies. One is newsstand, one is direct. Number five, number six. As a kid, the thing was one of my favorite characters. Number seven, number eight, number nine, number 11, number 12, number 13, number 14, and number... 15. This is cool. Again, I think I paid a quarter each on the things. And none of those are worth too much. Next, we got a run of ROM, which is cool since I'm a big toy fan. I always liked the comics that were based on toys in the 70s and 80s. So we got uh, ROM 32, 33, 34, 35, 35. Other than the little um, warp on the bottom, these are in pretty good shape. I think that warp will come out if I just bag and board them and let them sit for a while. 36, 38, 40, 41, 43. That arm's getting tired. <laughs> 44, 47, 48, 49, 52, 53. 54, 55, 57, 58, number 60, looks like there's two copies of 60, 62, 63, two copies of 63, 64, 69, uh, 70, only annual number one, Number two, and number three. I mean, it's not a full collection, but it's a good chunk of it. That's cool. I uh, I know I have a bunch of other ROMs, though, so I don't know how many I actually needed. Now we got some more Spider-Mans. We got uh, Spectacular Spider-Mans. Number 21, not in the best shape. Again, kind of warped. Uh, 60, 63. Looks like 64 is missing. So that's another key that's missing. Uh, 65, 66, 67, and I think most of these I have. I have pretty much a full run of Spectacular Spider-Man. 73, 77, although some of these might be uh, condition upgrades. 78, 79, 80, 81. I kind of like Cloak and Dagger, so that's cool. That's what 64 is the first of Cloak and Dagger, and that's what's missing. 83, 84, 85, 86, 87 times 2. There's a direct edition and a new stand edition. 88, 89, 90, 91, 
97. Still a little bit warped, so these guys aren't sitting here. 98, 99, 105, 106, uh, king size annual number one, number three, and number four. Okay, and then next, uh, the rest of this box is just a, you know, 20 or so new mutant comics, which I don't think any of these are key issues. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, ten. Uh, there's a direct and a newsstand. Eleven, twelve. I think thirteen is a semi key. I think fourteen is the bigger key, if I remember correctly. Fifteen, sixteen. I believe this is the first war path, so this one's worth a little bit, maybe ten bucks. Seventeen. 18. I think this is the first Warlock. So I think, again, that's maybe like a $10 comic. 18. 19. I always loved these painted covers on the New Mutants when I was a kid. 20. I, really, oh, I love these covers. 21. 22. 23. All these painted covers are awesome to me. 24. 25. 30. 31 and annual number one i think annual two is a key but that's not there i wish it was also looks like this is a cameo first appearance of legion 26 is missing but that's there this is like a 10 to 15 dollar comic and i think that one's on the rise so that's cool this is the new mutants had a few keys i wasn't really looking for that have gone up as i was saying anything that's kind of gone up recently is the stuff that would still be in the collection so that's why i looked out on that stuff anything that had value let's say four or five years ago or you know a bigger value was the kind of the stuff that looked like it was picked out already okay that was box two let's go on to box all right let me grab a handful from the next box let's see what we got oh uh, next box is marvel team up i think the ma majority of these are like one to four dollars maybe there's no real i think there's like two keys and i'm not sure if they're in there or not uh we got 120 121 124 126 135, 136, 137, 138, 138 times 2, 140, oh, okay, we cool, we have one of the keys, 141, uh, it's in pretty good shape, so I think that's like a, it's got one slight sort of crease down the middle, so that's maybe like 10 bucks, if it was a little bit better, it might be 20, 25, that's cool, uh, 142, 143 144 and i believe that's from the first month of the black spider-man suit uh, i'm not sure if it's that or um secret wars 8 or amazing spider-man 252 is the actual first appearance I always get confused on that but i know that's important to the black suit spider-man uh 145 146 147 148, 149, 150, and uh, annual number seven. I've got uh, Marvel 2 and 1. This is one of my favorite series from when I was a kid. Uh, I don't think these higher issues are worth that much, but they're still very awesome. 77, 79, 90, 93, 95, 96. 98 and i think i have most of these because i that's one series i was working on for a while 99 annual seven oh back to marvel team up we got 94 97 111 115 and 118 oops okay let me move these down 
Okay, we got uh, some Marvel Tales, which I know are really not worth, you know, maybe a buck a piece unless it's a, uh, a key issue reprint. And off the top of my head, I don't know which ones are. Uh, 144, 146. I usually avoid Marvel Tales. I mean, unless they're in a collection, then I'll eventually I'll have them all because I buy them uh, often enough. 147, 149, 162, 153, 162, 163, 164, 166. Oof, by the time I'm done doing all these, my voice, I'm going to lose it. Uh, 168, 169, 172. Oh, we got some more team ups. We got Marvel team up 54. That's cool. Uh, Moon Knight. We've got number 3, number 30. Number 31, number 33, number 37, number 38, uh, and then the Moon Knight Special Edition, number 1, number 2, and number 3. Those are cool. Alright, now we got some Iron Man, some uh, pretty cool earlier bronze stuff. Got uh, number 49. I mean, 55 wasn't in there. That would have been super awesome. But uh, I have a couple copies of 55, so that's okay. Uh, and I don't have a lot of the other stuff, so that's cool. I can fill in my collection. Uh, 42, although that one's kind of torn up. 30. This one's a good find. I like that one. 58. 126. 129. 148. 149, 150. Off the top of my head, I don't think any of these are key issues. 155, 158, 159, 161, 162, 163, 164, 165, 167, 168, 169, 170, 171, 172. And uh, a lot of these are in pretty good shape. 173, good find to very fine. 174, 175, two copies. Direct and newsstand. Uh, 176, 177, 178, 179, 180, 181, 182, 183, 184, 185, 186, 187. 188, 189, 190, 191, 197, 198, 215, uh, annual 5, annual 6, annual 7, uh, king size annual for Marvel Tales number 2, the back cover is missing, that one's kind of beat up. Uh, oh, this is cool. Marvel Tales 18. Now, the earlier Marvel Tales, uh, I just like them because they're Silver Age. I mean, what year is this one from? 19... I'm trying to think. 1969. So, it's it's a cheaper Silver Age, but it's still cool to get on. That one's in pretty good shape. It's like a solid find. Uh, Marvel Tales 36. Number 46. 49. 52. 55. 63, 74, 75, 124, 129, 131, 133, 134, 135, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143. And then that's it for box number three. Woo! All right. Uh, I think the Moon Knights were probably the best out of that box. Well, and a couple of the earlier Iron Man were pretty cool too. Getting a bit worn out going through all these boxes of comics, but uh, I just, I love going through them so much, so it's worth it. <laughs> 
it's worth wearing yourself out enjoying your comic books. Okay, let's see what's in this next box. All right, we got uh, Smurfs. Number one. Number two. I like the Smurfs. Uh, number three. We got Red Sonia. Number one. Number two. I think that's two different series. Yeah, that's regular Red Sonia. This is She Devil with a Sword. Number three. Number four. Number five. Uh, Dark Crystal number one. Dark Crystal number two. Superman the movie number three. Saga of the Swamp Thing number two. X-Men and the Micronauts number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Uh, when I see X-Men comics, it reminds me of Charlotte because X-Men was my favorite comic when I was a kid. X-Men and G.I. Joe. Annie, number one. Uh, Rock and Rule Marvel Super Special. Uh, it's a really cool animated looking cover. Oh yeah, I guess it's... I don't know, I guess it's screen captures from a movie that I'm not really aware of. <laughs> it looks cool though. And uh, classic stories of the X-Men. This is... Some kind of reprint. I'm not sure what that is. And we got more X-Men classics. Number two and number three. And then we have Amazing Adventures X-Men number one. Number nine. Special Edition X-Men. Number one. Uh, X-Men Chronicles. Not sure what that is. It's like a fanzine or something. It's interesting looking, but I'm not too familiar with it. Uh, Star Trek number 17. Number 10, Star Trek the Movie, number 3. It's a big, thick comic book. And then these are cool. Uh, I'm not sure the value, value off the top of my head, but I'm sure it's gotten up recently since a lot of Star Wars stuff has kind of skyrocketed since the new movie. Uh, Return of the Jedi, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, I'm assuming number 4 is in the box. Yeah, number 4. So that's a complete set of that. <laughs> that's cool. And then... Uh, Transformers number two and number three, number four, Robotech Defenders number one, Buckaroo Banzai number one, number two, Star Trek number seven, Last Starfighter number one, definitely my child childhood right here. Number two and number three, all these movie related comics are cool. Uh, Crawl number one, number two, this is a Marvel Super Special, it's missing its cover. Marvel Spotlight on Dragon Lord, number five. Uh, Spanner's Galaxy, number one. I guess there's a couple of DC things in here, but not really. Sampler, number three. Three copies of this. Uh, I guess he probably he was, looked like a Marvel fan, so he probably just got those for free somehow. Uh, Marvel Premiere, number 37. Marvel Collector's Item Classics number 11. Again, I like it because it's Silver Age. It's not anything super valuable, but it's pretty cool. Conan Annual number 7 and number 8. And Conan 125. Uh, Conan 140. 142. 146. Adventure into Fear number 22. That's cool. Uh, keys are number seven, keys are number nine, number 25, 27, 16, uh, Hercules 4, uh, a little bit more DC mixed in, Green Lantern number 184, and Quest Pro featuring Spider-Man number two, Creatures on the Loose number 31, number 32, these are cool, 36, Secret Wars 2 number two, number three, uh, Oh, these are cool. Marvel Age, number one, number two, number three. I mean, I, I don't think they're worth too much, but it's just cool to have the first few in the run. Number four, number five, number six, number 11, number 18, number 19, number 20, number 21, number 30. Got Marvel Fanfare, number eight. Number 9, number 10, number 11, number 12, number 13, number 14, number 15, number 16, number 17, number 18, number 22, 
number 23. Got uh, Wonder Woman 283. I need to find more collections of Wonder Woman. I really want a full run of Wonder Woman. Uh, Power Lords, number one. Marvel Triple Action, number four. That's a cool cover. Fantasy Masterpieces, number six. Kind of beat up. Marvel Superheroes, number 25. Arion, number one. Weird oddball comics. I mean, it's weird. He just has a random mix of DC in here. Not really, doesn't look like he was out going out of his way to collect DC. It just, he, I guess, just accumulated a couple here and there over the years. Uh, like another one, World's Finest, number 278. Then we got Secret Wars, number one. Okay, here's a couple that I pulled out when I was trying to evaluate them. This is cool. Inhumans, number eight, in pretty good shape. It has one crease there, but other than that, it's not too bad. Nova number 14, uh, Transformers number 1, that one's worth a little bit, Star Wars 53, Star Wars 50, again all these Star Wars a few years ago you could buy for a dollar or two, but uh, ever since Disney started working on the Star Wars movies the prices have just jumped up. Uh, number 74, 46, 70, 61, I mean, 64, 61, annual 3, 77. So those are cool. Those are worth a little bit more. Okay, and then we got, uh, now we got some X-Men. I wish there was more X-Men in the collection, but there was some cool early uh, or mid-bronze stuff, which is good. 123, I guess, or late bronze, early copper, I meant. Uh, 123, 145, 149, annual number 5. Uh, these are kind of beat up. Annual number five again. Uh, number 38, which is cool to see, but in really bad shape. It's written on and torn up. Uh, number 46, which is actually not too bad. It's like a very good plus. And number 104, that's a pretty good issue. 112, 113, 114. Those are cool. I wish they were in a little bit better condition, but I'm happy to have them. And then uh, Werewolf by Night, number three. 35 again close to 32 i'm still looking for that 32 number 20 number 14 number 12 uh nova number 12 and giant size werewolf number five those are cool i like the 70s horror marvel stuff a lot okay so that's the end of that box pretty good box star wars stuff is good excellent stuff is good uh, and a couple other scatterings of pretty decent comics in there. Again, at about 60 cents a piece, uh, I think I'm, I did pretty well in this collection. You know, even the weaker stuff is not that terrible. I mean, years ago it would have been a little bit more terrible, but anything from the copper and bronze age is kind of going up now in value. Alright, box five. Uh, looks like a lot of Captain Americas. I don't think any of these are super valuable, but I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, 285, 286. 287, 288 times 2. Again, direct and newsstand. 289, 290, 291, 292, 293, 294, 295. Uh, five, ten years ago, a lot of this stuff, like Captain America, anything Avengers, really wasn't worth anything. But ever since the movies came out, they're doing so well. Uh, prices of even the cheaper ones are going up. 296, 297, 298, 299, 301, 302, 303, 308, 309, annual 7, and special edition number 1. Okay, let's see, we got uh, Marvel Super Action number 1, number 5, number 8, uh, Captain America, uh, here's some cool bronze Captain America, 161 times 2, 179, 197, 198, 207, 213, 214, 216, uh, I guess 217 is missing, that's another key issue that's not here, the first Quasar, 219, 222, 230 times 2, direct a new stand, uh, 233, 245 times 2, direct a new stand again, 262, 
266, 274, 275, 278, 279. This video is me counting. <laughs> if you just listen to it, it's like, he's counting a thousand numbers. And it's like a weird radio broadcast. What do those numbers mean? 280, 281, 282, 283, and 284. Uh, I do, I just, I love buying collections. Buying comics in the collection form is the most fun because you get so much value for your dollar and sometimes you're just surprised by what you get. Marvel Adventures featuring Daredevil. Number one. And then we got Daredevil 192. Kind of wish he had the uh, um, the Frank Miller runs because those I really want. I love Daredevil. I'm a big Daredevil fan. 193, 194, 195, 197, 198, 199, and the the uh, Frank Miller ones are ones I'm missing from my collection. 200, and I have a lot of Daredevils. 201, 202. 203, 204, 205, 206, 207, 209, 210, 211, 212, 213, 214, 215, 221, 222, and the Daredevil Chronicles number... Not sure what that is. I'm not familiar with that comic. I don't think I've seen this one before. Uh, it's like a weird black and white story of Daredevil kind of thing. Interesting. Oh, I'm getting a little bit tired. I probably should have broke this up into two videos, but I just want to get through them all and see what I got, let you guys see what I got, and, you know, start bagging and boarding them after I do my video. Uh, we got number... Oh, Dazzler? I like Dazzler. Dazzler is a character I really liked in the late 80s when she joined the X-Men. So as a teenager, I became a fan of Dazzler. Uh, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten, number eleven, number twelve. I guess number one is missing, but the rest of the run is pretty good here. Thirteen, I mean pretty complete. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen... 19, got, uh, 20, 22, I guess we're missing a couple. 23, 24, 25, uh, 26 times 2, we got newsstand and the direct 27, 28, 29, 30, uh, I love these painted covers, 31, 31 times 2, uh, 32, oops. 33, 34, 35, 36, and 39. Okay, that was all the Dazzlers. All right, just a little bit more in this box, or a lot more. We got 40 year old dust in these things. Okay, let's see what we got. We got some Doctor Stranges. 30, I haven't looked these up in a while, so I'm not sure if uh, any of the value of them are going up because of the movie. 30, 38. 50, 53, 55, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 62 times 2, new stand and direct, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and then we got uh, Doctor Strange Classics number one. That's cool. I wish there was a couple of issues on the lower end of the Doctor Strange run, but I'm happy to have these. I don't think I have too many in my collection. Uh, okay, Defenders. Got number 20, number 32. That one's kind of ready. Number 60, 61, 71, 73, 81... 92. I think I have most of these. I have a pretty near complete run of Defenders right now in my collection. 94, 96, 106, 112, 114, 115, 118, 120, 122, 123, 124, 
125, 126, 127, 128. This one got rolled a little bit on the edge. Uh, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 146, and 147. Uh, that's cool. That's a cool box. Uh, I mean, there wasn't any super valuable ones in that box, but again, I think the majority of that box I paid a quarter a piece. So at a quarter, I'm happy to buy all of these. You know, I can sell the duplicates for a dollar or two, and for the rest, just fill in my collection for a good price. All right, I got three boxes left to go, and I'm kind of tired, but let's see what we got. Okay, these are some of the better ones, I think, that I pulled out. Uh, Submariner number 36. Not too bad. It's got a couple little creasy bits there, but it's pretty cool. Uh, Amazing Adventures number 11. That's, I think, the second beast, furry beast appearance. Uh, Captain Marvel number 8. Um, it's actually in very nice shape. It's like a fine plus, very fine minus. Really, that one I'm excited to add to my collection just because of the grade. Uh, Captain Marvel number 28. Another, um, you know, early Thanos appearance. It's very cool. We got a uh, web of Spider Man number 24. A coverless, not sure. Spidey comic without a cover. And a Hulk 293. Okay, we got, uh, oh, some Spider Woman comics. I do actually want to put a full run of these together. I'm not sure how many I have, so this will help a bit. Number 8, number 26. Number 32, number 39, number 43, number 44 times 2, number 49, number 50, uh, some She-Hulk. This is cool. I want a full run of She-Hulk 2, although I think I have most of them already. Number 13, number 14, number 17, uh, Man-Thing, number 18, number 19, number 21, giant size Man-Thing, number 2. A giant size Spider Man and the Man Thing number five. I guess that's giant size Spider Man. Uh, Masters of Kung Fu 61, 70, 82, 119, 123, 125. Got a E Man number one, number three, number five, number six, number seven, number eight. 8 and number 11. Another random DC comic pop in here. A New Teen Titans number 36. I was kind of hoping that he would have more of a run of these because I really want to put a full set of all the Teen Titan comics together. All right, we got some uh, Power Pack comics. Number two, number three. I liked Power Pack when I was a kid. Uh, number four, number five, number six, number seven. Number 8, number 13, and number 14. Some oddball ones, US 1. These aren't really worth anything, I don't think. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes the weirdest stuff starts going up in value lately. Number 3, number 4, number 5, number 6, number 7. Worthless until it shows up on TV somewhere. <laughs> now starring on Daredevil, the dude from US 1. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just joking. Uh, the Hawkeye miniseries, number one, number two, number three, and number four. Full set of that. That's cool. Uh, some more DC stuff snuck in here. We've got Superman 286, 300, 302, 342, 345, 346, 360, 369. Uh, Superman The Secret Years, number one. Superman 404. And Superman Man of Steel number six. Okay, we got um, Marvel Spotlight on Captain Marvel number four, Captain Marvel number 45, number 47, number 50, and Giant Size number one. That's cool. I don't think I have that, although it's got a tear on the corner. Mm. Don't like the tears. Uh, Kitty Pride and Wolverine number one, number two, number. Three, number four, uh, Blue Devil, number six, and number eight. 
All right, we got a Tales of Astonish, Submariner number one, number two, number four, number five. Five is really beat up. Uh, Submariner limited series, number one, number two, number three, and number four. That's a full set. That's cool. And a Falcon miniseries, number one, number two, number three, and number four. Another full set. Uh, Chris Star, Crystal Warrior, number two. I like Chris Star. I love the toys. I think they're so cool. Number three, number four, number five, number six. Oh, these are cool. Number seven, number eight. I don't think I have these, so I'm, I'm happy to get these. Number nine, number ten, number eleven. Uh, we got some more thing. Number 16, number 17, number 18, number 19, number 20, number 21, number 27. Uh, we got some Micronauts, number 2. Uh, I like any, like I said before, any comic books based on toys I really like from the 70s and 80s because that's my childhood. Number 3, number 4, number 5, number 6, number 11. Number 12, number 45, uh, Iceman Limited Series, number 1, and number 2, uh, Magic, number 1, number 2, number, wait, number 1 times 2, I mean, number 2, number 3, down a little bit, number 4. So those are cool. Got some uh, Power Man comics, number 44. Uh, I can't wait till the Netflix story, uh, series starts. Really excited for that. Number 95, number 96, number 97, 98, 99, 100. That's a cool cover. Beauty and the Beast number one and number two. Uh, looks like a little bit more Marvel age gotten here. Number seven, number eight, number nine, number 10. Uh, more Power Man, we got 42, 43. Uh, Marvel Age again, number 13, number 14, number 15, number 16, number 17, number 22. Uh, King Conan, number 16, number 18, Conan the King, 20, and 21. All right, so that was that box. Uh, there's some cool stuff in there. Uh, no big key issues, but a couple, you know, five, ten dollar comics are mixed in there, and most of the stuff is like a one or two dollar comic. All right, last, uh, let's see, two boxes left. Everything is so dusty. I'm gonna have to vacuum up everything when I'm done with this. Uh, okay, cool. This is a run of Fantastic Four stuff. Uh, I don't think there's any key issues or anything of value, but I love the Fantastic Four, so. Um, this is cool. This is Marvel's Greatest Comics 38, 86. These are all reprints. Uh, regular Fantastic Four, 125. 142, 165, 169, 170, 173, 179, 219, 222, 224, 227, that's times 2, uh, 228, 234, 235, 244, 245, 246, 247, 248. Uh, I mean, none of these I think are worth that much, maybe a dollar to each, but I'm happy because they kind of fill in my run a bit, so that's very cool. 249, 251, 252, 253, 254, 255, and 256. 257, 258, 259, 260, 261, 262, 263, 264, times 2, 
It's a direct and newsstand. 265, 266, 267, 268, 279, 270, 271, 273, 274, 275, 281, 282, uh, annual number 16, that's cool, I know I don't have that one, uh, annual 17, annual 18, Fantastic Four Chronicles. Not sure what that is. I think it kind of sums up the history of the Fantastic Four. Next, we have let's see a whole stack of Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider 19, Ghost Rider 19, 40, 50, 61, 62, 67, 68, 70, 73. 74 times 2, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Now we have some whole cut. No 180, 181, 182. I'm hoping one day I find a collection with them in it because I really want that first appearance of Wolverine set. Uh, 191, 192. I had. Those, that's one of the big things that was in my collection that I sold in the mid-90s that I haven't replaced yet. And I miss having them. Uh, 201, 206, 207, 209, 214, 217, 222, 233, 239, 244, 247, 251, 261, 269, 270. Oh, cool, 271. That's in there. That's the first uh, Rocket Raccoon in the regular uh, continuation. Uh, that's, that's cool. That's definitely a key issue. And... Uh, Let's see, it's got a little bit of mark there, so it's probably like a fine plus. Uh, not too bad. I mean, I think in that condition, maybe 60 bucks. Very cool. All right, we got uh, 273, 274, 275, 276, 278, 279, 282, 283, 284, 285, 286, 287, 288, 289, 290, 291, and 292. And that's definitely a case of uh, when he first started trying to sell a collection, that probably was only worth like two bucks. Because it's only since the um, Guardians of the Galaxy came out that it's jumped up in so much in price. Very cool. Right, we got some more Hulk. Uh, 294, 295, 296, 297, 298, 299, 300, 301, 302, 303, 304, 310, 311. Uh, king size annual number 6. I think this is the first appearance of uh, her. Not 100% sure, but I think that's like a $20, $30 comic. So that's cool. Very cool. Uh, annual 11, annual number 12, and annual number 13. And then, oh, it looks like I pulled out a couple issues at the back here of this box. Uh, a couple more key issues we got. We got... Avengers Annual Number 10, that's the first appearance of Rogue. Very cool key issue to me. We got Avengers 196, First Taskmaster. Uh, very cool, it has that one corner is a little bit creased. But other than that, I mean, it's probably still a $40 comic in that condition. Very cool. And then we got Hulk Annual Number 5. That's um, a reprinting of the first appearance of Groot, so it's kind of like the second appearance, I think, but... The first appearance since the early 60s. And it, it's in pretty good shape. I mean, I don't think there's any major flaws on it. It's probably a little bit dirty. It's probably very fine. 
So probably 20, 30 dollar comic, very cool. Then we have uh, Hulk 146, Hulk 151, Hulk 169, Hulk 179. Uh, this is cool. Hulk 105. Not in the best shape. It's got some tearing there, but still, early Hulks are cool. Hulk 112. Hulk 123. This one's actually in pretty nice shape. And the pages look pretty good. That's a fine plus, maybe even a very fine minus. That's cool. I really like that one. Hulk 145. Um, so that's cool. There's some really cool stuff in that box. That was a good box. All right, finally down to the last box. It's actually technically three boxes that are equal to like one box. But let's go through them and figure out what we got. What do we have? We have uh, Giant Size Dracula 3. Very cool. Uh, Life with Archie, number 245. It looks like they have a couple of, what was that? Mid 80s? 84 Archies are mixed in here. Life with Archie, number 244. Archie Me 146, uh, Archie 332, Dennis the Menace number two. This is kind of the weaker box, I think. Team America number five, Judge Dredd's Crime File number three, Firestorm number 17, Firestorm number 32. Got a little bit of DC in here again. Uh, Firestorm Annual 2, Battle for a Three Dimensional World. I don't know what that is, but it looks kind of cool. I guess it was the Jack Kirby art. Then we got a, uh, I think a Spanish Disney comic. I'm not sure what that is. Interesting. Got some Conans, Conan 150, 151, 152, 153. Oh, I missed this. This is cool. Uh, Tales of Astonish number 68. Uh, not in the best shape. It's maybe a good, it's got a little tear right there, but still. Any Silver Age Marvel, I'm always happy to find. Marvel Double Feature number 3, number 5, number 18. Uh, we have a Spider-Man Annual number 1. Uh, Spider-Man and his Amazing Friends number 1. It's got a pretty bad spine wool. Uh, Spidey number 24, not in the best of shape. West Coast Avengers 21. Uh, number one, number two, number three, and number four. So that's a full uh, mini series. Marvel feature featuring Ant Man number seven. That's cool. I don't know if it's, it's gonna be worth something. I don't know if it's a high price or not. I have to look that one up. Uh, Godzilla number nine. Very cool. Uh, X Factor number 13. Adventure into Fear number 20. Oh, I missed a couple more in here. And humans number nine in pretty good shape. That's very cool. Invaders number 40. What if number 41, number 40, number 37, number 43, number 45, number 47. Um, Human fly number 17. Marvel spotlight number 22. And Conan number 56. Ah, oh, there's some really cool stuff in that first box. I think I missed a couple of the items when I was looking for it because I didn't realize it was in there. Awesome. All right, now I'm going to open up this second box. Okay, let's see what we got in this box. We have uh, G.I. Joe yearbook number one. Miss Marvel number 21. Strange Tales number 179. Uh, Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. number one. And actually... Very fine condition. I mean, that's awesome. That's a really good condition. I think it's probably like a $20 comic just from the condition. Very cool. Uh, Beware the Claws of the Cat, number two. Beware, number one. And this one is actually in probably very fine condition as well. That's really cool. I need to get these bagged up right away. Uh, Where Monsters Dwell, number one. Also in uh, probably fine plus, very fine minus. Very cool. All right, I gotta get this bagged up, man. Okay, we got uh, Alien Legion, number four, number five, uh, Machine Man, number three, um, Robotech, number three, number four, number five, number six, American Flag, number 26, John Carter, Warlord of Mars, number two, number three, 
Howard the Duck number 11, uh, Sword of the Atom number 1, number 2, and number 3, number 4, uh, Star Years number 1, Star Years number 2, number 3, number 4, 6 from Sirius number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, uh, Alien Legion number 2, Number three, uh, Jack of Hearts, number one, number two, uh, number four, Tarzan, number one, number two, uh, The Hulk versus Quasimodo, number one, Quest Probe featuring The Hulk, number one, 18, number three, Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., number one, number two, Combat Kelly and the Deadly Dozen, number two, Omega the Unknown number two. Omega the Unknown number six. Machine Man number 11. Number 13. Uh, 18 number two and 18 number one. Uh, pretty cool box. I mean, there's a lot of kind of weaker titles except for the um, first few I had in there. Okay, and then the last mini box. I'm going to end up probably keeping a lot of the comics in these boxes. I'm going to bag and board them, but uh, I kind of just like the history of the collection and just the way it looks. I mean, I can just imagine a little kid in the late 70s sticking the, the stickers all over these boxes just to represent their comic books and stuff. Very cool. All right, let me pull out what's in here and let's see what's inside. Okay, we got uh, Archie at Riverdale High, number 100. Archie Pals and Gals, number 172. Archie and Me, number 148. Archie at Riverdale High, number 98. Everything's Archie, number 113. Betty and Veronica Spectacular, number 541. Betty and Me, number 141. Betty and Me, number 142. Pep, number 397. Uh, Strange Tales, number 186. Tales of Asgard, number 1. Uh, Teen Titans, number 49. Chaos, Prince of Madness, number 1. Don't know much about that one. Uh, Eternals, number 15. Batman and the Outsiders, number 17. Number 5. Uh, Detective, 511. Marvel Fanfare, number 5. And number 6. Indiana Jones and Temple Dune number one. Indiana Jones and Temple Dune number two. Number three. A regular Indiana Jones number two. Number four. Number five. These are actually kind of cool. Number six. There's two of those. Number six. Number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten. No, nope. these got a little bit curled on the bottom, so I can't really stand them up so well. Number eleven, number twelve, number thirteen. Number 14, there's two of these. Looks like a direct edition and a newsstand edition. Number 14, number 15, number 16, number 17, number 18, number 19, number 20, number 21, number 22, Number 23, and uh, Heroes World catalog number two. I love these Hero World catalog just with the, all the old toys in them. These things are so much fun to look at to me. Super cool. All right, so that's it. All right, so that's uh, that's all the comics. Uh, it was at least 800, maybe a thousand comics for $460. So I uh, you know, what is that, like 50 cents a piece, 60 cents a piece? Uh, I think it's a great price for this collection. I'm really happy with everything that was in it. As you can see, there's a few key titles, like these three. Uh, a few older Silver Age titles, a lot of a lot of bronze and copper age. Uh, a couple of 
silver and early bronze ages that are in high grade, which I'm really excited about. And uh, I'm happy. I think this is a fun collection. This shows you when you're out and about looking for stuff like garage sales. Whatever you collect, you just have to ask. Because this wasn't at the garage sale, but this collection came out because I asked someone else if they had comic books. So uh, I think it was a success. I hope you enjoy this video. It's pretty long. But uh, it was fun to go through everything just to see what I got. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you like this video, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.